Hello, in this session, I shall look at the basic concepts about numbers. <clears throat> I shall start with natural numbers. Natural numbers are the numbers that we are most familiar with. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. These are natural numbers. Now, natural numbers, to be precise, does not include 0. So the set of natural numbers start from 1. Now then there is the idea of whole numbers, but natural numbers are in fact whole numbers. Now whole numbers, you can think of it as um, the same, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and it could also include 0. And that's how I learned it in school. It might or might not be a very strict definition. So for now, let's just think about whole numbers as numbers that, uh, that we count with. Now next, let's look at the idea of prime numbers. <clears throat> the idea about prime numbers is that we think of a number, uh, that a number can be made up of a product of two numbers. For example, if we start from products, We can talk about, say, 2 times 3. You know that 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So 6 is a product of 2 times 3. But what is a prime number? Now, if we start from the number 6, we can think of it as 2 numbers multiplied together, 2 times 3. Or it could also be, say, 1 times 6. So there are these possible ways of writing a number as a product of two numbers, which we call factors. So 6 is a factor, 1 is a factor, 3 and 2 are factors. So these are different numbers we can multiply together to get a certain number 6. And as you can see, for this number 6, we have at least two different ways we can make this number from products. It can be 1 times 6. We can also get 6 from 3 times 2. But there are certain numbers in which there is only one way to get those numbers. For example, the number 7 Think of two numbers that multiply to give 7, and you'll find that there's only one way to do it, 1 times 7. You can't think of two other numbers that would multiply to give 7, unlike this example for 6. So if we look at some of the smaller numbers, the more familiar prime numbers would be 2 3, 5, 7, and so on. Say 2 is a prime number because we can only get 2 from 1 times 2. Right? And 3, we get it from 1 times 3. And 5 can be a product of 1 and 5. And there are no other ways you can uh, find a, another two numbers that will give you 5, 3, 2, or 7. So these are prime numbers.
But let's look at the idea of common factors. Think about, think of two numbers. Say, um, six and four. And think about how we can get these numbers by multiplying two other numbers together. So as we have seen, for 6, I can get 6 by doing 1 times 6. I can get 6 by doing 2 times 3. Now these numbers that we can multiply together to get 6, we call these factors. We call these factors of 6. So 1, 6, 2, 3 are all factors of 6. 4, I can get if I do 1 times 4. Or if I do 2 times 2. So 1, 4 and 2 are factors of 4. But if I look at these two numbers, 6 and 4, if I look at their factors, you see that some of them are the same. 1 is a factor of 6, 1 is also a factor of 4. Now, 2 is also a factor of both 6 and 4. Now, if we can find factors that are the same, in the two numbers, we call those the common factors. So I would say, I can say that 2 is a common factor of 6 and 4. I can also say that 1 is a common factor of 6 and 4. But then 1 is a common factor of all numbers, of course. So that's the meaning of common factors. So look at common multiples. Now, the meaning of multiple, let's take a look at 6. Multiple means to multiply by some numbers. So a multiple of 6, for example, can be 1 times 6 can be 2 times 6, can be 3 times 6, and so on. So these are all multiples of 6. So 1 times 6 is, um, is uh, 6, 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 6 is 18, and so on. So we say that 6, 12, 18 are all multiples of 6. And you can get many others. Let's look at 4. The multiples of 4, in the same way, could be 1 times 4, 2 times 4, and 3 times 4, and so on. So that would be 4, 8, 12, etc. So we say that 4, 8 and 12 are multiples of 4. So these are numbers that we can get by multiplying 4 by a whole number. That's the name that we give it. If you look at these two, uh, if you look at these two sets of multiples, you see that they are, they are mostly different. But notice that Twelve is the same. We have. We just so happen that we can find some of the multiples that are the same for both six and four. The multiples that are the same are called common multiples. So the word common just means multiples that are the same between 
the two numbers. And we say that in, in for 6 and 4, we say that 12 is a common multiple of 6 and 4. The next thing is that that we want to look at is the idea of a rational number. A rational number is slightly more complicated. Basically, a rational number is a number that can be written as a fraction. And that's actually um, quite a general uh, statement. Uh, that, that means that there are many possible numbers that can be a rational number. So if I take, for example, 1 over 2, that's already a fraction. So that's a rational number. But I can also think of, say, the number Two. Now, two does not look like a fraction, but two can be written as two over one. So that's a kind of fraction as well. In other words, a rational number is a number that can be written by a whole number divided by a whole number. Um, to be uh, precise, let's say a whole Number over a whole number. So let's just look at one or two other examples. I can have, uh, for example, say 0 0.2, that's a decimal. So that does not look like a fraction, but I can write 0 0.2 as 2 over 10. So that's also a rational number because 0 0.2 can be written as a whole number divided by a whole number. Right, we'll stop here for this section.